Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we will be continuing the 5M series. We will be taking a look at, at how you can create your very first actual functioning resource. Uh, last episode we created a command but it didn't really have any real function. So we will be creating an actual speedometer which tells you how fast you're driving this time. If it might sound boring, it won't be I promise you will learn at least something and if if you're actually experienced in scripting then you mo might still learn something if stick stick to the end because I will be optimizing the script in the end which might be hard if you're new to it so you might want to skip skip it but if you actually want to learn a lot then yeah just watch it Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> So I have our test server open, uh, let me just, there. Um, we have our scripts right here, probably not look like this if it's just your default server with nothing because this is just a random QB core server I had laying around, there's the script we made last episode and we're basically going to start out the same way, let's pick a name, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to do like zero speedo meter that should work or well, yeah it's going to work and then let's create our fx manifest.luba shit there let me just zoom in if we actually want to see so fx version that's just the 5m version some natives might be different and natives are these functions so make sure you actually pick the latest one otherwise this list might be wrong uh, game ETA 5 because 5M is based on ETA 5 it's not based on Red Dead uh, shit client script client.lua you can name this script whatever you want except that it has to be the same as it's here so if I name this hello.lua this will also have to be hello.lua but I'm just going to name it client.lua because that makes more sense and yeah so first off we will be creating a function to actually show text on our screen. This might sound kinda e easy but it is kinda hard if you actually want to remember it. But there is a lot of tutorials on the forum on how to do it although I will do it quite quickly now. So if you want to read more about it then just search it on the Fiverr forums. So. First, let's just define our function. Oh, oh, function, and then a function name. So I'm going to do like draw text. That should work. Then let's do text. The function name can be whatever you want. Although I'm just going to call it draw text because that's what it's going to do. It's going to draw text on our screen. And why we make it a function is because then if we want to use it later in the script we can do that so we don't have to copy the code 20 times and it's just more organized and a better habit so you should probably try to get used to using functions instead of having copies of the same code so set text proportional there zero I'm gonna search up for you guys this native does Oh yeah, shit. I think we still might need this. I did this a long time ago, so I'm just going off memory. And uh, it used to be needed if I'm not wrong, but yeah, it might not be needed anymore. Set text font, this is needed though. This sets the font of the text, which is kinda obvious. I um, think they have a font list, maybe? Otherwise just try different numbers. I'm just going to do one. Might try to change it in the future then we need to create a text entry set so text entry string because it's just one string we're going to draw 30 strings and I'm quite sure that wouldn't work because this is just one text object and then add text component oh component and then string Um, this is basically just going to be your text, so put the value right here, text. 
and then end this draw text uh, let's just do like 0 0.5 0 0.5 this is x and y on your screen so you might want to play around with it um can just show this for you guys too hmm. Hmm. Ah, the text. Oh shit. Text come. Yeah, I'm quite sure it works, otherwise we'll just have to go back and check. Fix it. So right now it doesn't really do anything. Why? Well, we just created a function for drawing text, but we aren't really drawing text though. So let's do that now let's create a thread because otherwise we can't use natives you can do you can use this function through here that's why it can be outside because it gets triggered in this thread otherwise you would have to have it inside of here because this wouldn't work because these functions don't exist here they only exist in here because yeah let's basically, basically just have how 5M works. So yeah, now we have to figure out a way to get the player speed. No, not the player speed, the vehicle speed of the vehicle that the player is in. So let's just create a variable, local speed. Get entity speed. I can show this for you. This just takes an entity, then it returns the speed. This is in kind of 5M values, so we have to um, multiply it by these numbers if you want to have miles per hour or kilometers per hour. So you want to pick the one that you want later. And then we want to get, get vehicle pet is in. This takes two values, the entity and the if it should be the last vehicle the player has been in. So if this is false, it would still take the vehicle that the player was last in so if i would jump out of a vehicle it would just return that vehicle instead so we don't want it no no if it was true sorry if it was true so we want it to be false because we don't want the, to get the speed of the last vehicle if the player is not in the any vehicle then we don't want it to oh get player pet sorry false because then it doesn't return any weird shit and then let's go back to the speed i'm quite sure it was times 3.64 kilometers yeah so i'm going to be using kilometers so do times 3.6 if you're going to use kilometers or times this number if you're going to use miles per hour it's as simple as that and now we want to add an if so we want to check if is ped in any vehicle. Could check this with this too. I could, yeah, we could try that just to show that. Because if you look at this, it says returns zero if the ped slash player, because ped is a player or an NPC, is not in a vehicle. So we could do get player ped minus one. If it's not, oh, no shit. If it's not equal to zero, then so if it if the player is in a vehicle, we can just create a comment checks if the player is in a vehicle gets the vehicle speed might not be needed. Around it, I guess. And then this is the uh, font for the text we are drawing. Initiates a new string for our text, which basically just allows us to choose the text of it. Because if we wouldn't do this, then the text would basically not exist. Because otherwise, Fireman wouldn't know what type of text we want. Because there is a lot of different types of fonts. Let me see. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, you can see old name, set text entry. It's this one. 
Um, you can see here string, two strings, number, percentage, blah blah. There's lots of uh, values for this. And then this is basically just sets the text, draws the text x comma y on your screen. So that's basically just expl the explanation of everything. And if it if everything has gone right, so if the player is actually in a vehicle, then we could do draw text um, speed, and we might want to do so it says kilometers after. So it basically would right now it would say 100 like that, and we might want it to say like that or miles per hour. That's up to you. you don't need that can make it as advanced or as simple as you want. So basically how we would do that is two dots and then the string that we want after kilometers slash hour. And we need to add a space because otherwise it would not have space. It would be like, I don't like how that looks and that's where I added the space. So it will look like that. And just to be really sure, we can add two string and that basically just makes sure that this is impossible to error. It would never be able to error. And it's not really needed because we already have all of these checks. But if you want to, you can add it. And um, draws the text on the screen if all checks are passed. If the check is passed. Yeah, because we only have one there. Let me start my server and we will take a look at how it looks. Start my server and I've found a problem. So what we have to do is rename this function. Why? Because this is already a native function. It's already a default function. We can't have two functions with the same name that will just create an infinite loop inside an infinite loop, blah blah. So yeah, let's just rename this. Draw text on screen maybe. That should work. And then we actually have to put an infinite loop here. Because otherwise it will just show the speed for one second and then just stop. So basically what this does is creating an infinite loop. Infinite loop. Oh. Infinite. Yeah, I spelled true. I spelled it right. Yeah, I, I don't care. So basically what this does is creates a loop that runs while true is true. But you don't need this part. So it's, as long as true is true, it will run. And that would be forever. Then we put a wait. Wait so the loop doesn't crash our game. Because otherwise without this it would crash our game since it runs too fast basically. So now let's try it. Let's start it. And you can see that it works. It kind of works too good though. Because we don't really want it to show that many decimals. Um, yeah, right here. Let me just add a space too. So how we do this is right now we have our speed. Let's say it's the speed is 0 0.75. What we're going to be using is math of floor. floor. This basically is to, takes this decimal and change it so 0 0.75 would be 0. So what we need to do is take 0 0.75 plus 5 and then we have to for that because that would be like that. Because we don't really want it to round it down always. We want it to round it up if it's over 0 0.5 and down if it's under 7.5 because that's how a human rounds it so basically how we would do that is we would do speed plus 0.5 then left top floor that should work then that's done you see that it now only has one let me just change this this is basically just where on the screen yeah, kind of too far away.
Uh, so basically, yeah, that should work. So you can see that it doesn't have a decimal anymore. So you could leave this tutorial right now, and if you do, then please just like it, subscribe if you liked it, and yeah, do all of that. But if you want to continue, I will be just showing not really advanced, but a bit harder stuff. And yeah, please continue if you want to. Don't really have to be an expert for this. So first thing we would want to do is probably open our dev tools. If we do this, this will not be enabled by default, so you will probably not be able to use this, but I will do it for you. So if we take a look, this, uh, this number is the amount of resources our resource is using, basically. We don't have to go in depth on it, just know that the less it is, the less laggy. So we can't really change this because this is just the um, resources required to just show the text. But what we can change is the resources being used while we ain't even using the screen. Because it should be at zero since we aren't really using the script. This is an easy fix, just put else, sit and dot wait, 100. So if it's not, if the player is not in the car, then just wait a bit longer. And from restarting a script, we will have a zero resource uses when we're in the, we're, we're not in a car. We will have a normal resource usage when we are in a car. That optimization might not be that big, but it's big enough. So something more that we might do. This is just for fun. Um, we might ha want to have one decimal. How we do that is we use string dot format. And let's remove. I will just zoom in because this part might be a bit harder to see. So let's just remove the plus. Then let's move the two string to just here. So it's inside of the. And uh, you will probably not really be able to remember what you put here. I, to be honest, just learned from Google. So, yeah. so basically, this is just formatting the string slash changing the structure of it to have one decimal instead. Uh, oh shit! Only supposed to have two of these two. So now we will have two decimals. Yeah, no one, one sorry. And basically that's just, uh, I'm guessing it's the value, and then after a dot, it will just, it will only contain one. Like it will only allow one character after the dot. And that's basically it for that. Now let's say we want to style the text a bit. We will already move the text by changing these numbers, but there is actually a lot more to do. You see that there's basically all of these. So you can just go through them. Let's try just an easy drop shadow. You can do this one, which is custom, I'm guessing. But let's just do this one. No. No, let's just skip that, because that might just be weird. But we should do outline. Yeah, let's get the outline, because it's kind of hard to read right now. If, let's say, we're looking up in the sky. But yeah, and let's just add that. Hasn't, it's not harder than that. Now we have our outline. Let's say that we want to change the font. Just try some different numbers. That one is really weird. And that one's good, I guess. Let's try to change the scale. Just play, a play around with functions. You will most likely learn what to do after a while. Let's try some random numbers. Yeah, that looks good. Mm, change the color, I guess. Yeah, set text color, right? Set text color takes an R, red, green, blue, and alpha. So alpha is the transparency, and then that one, so just normal. It's just RGB. Let's just do that. So do we just have a red color with no transparency? We can do 100. It'll be a bit transparent. But yeah, you can basically just play around with this however however you want. And this might not really be the most fun thing to do or most exciting thing to do, but 
I promise you, if you keep on watching this series, we will be doing the hardest things in the future. And I will be letting you guys suggest stuff to do. So if you actually do comment any ideas of videos in the description, I will be doing them. Um, so yeah, in the future, we might actually do a more advanced version of this, which has a probably a custom UI, so it actually looks good, like mm, that one, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, if you liked the video, then please comment, subscribe, like, because it helps me keep motivated, keep being motivated, I guess. And yeah, just go do whatever you want with these new skills. Thanks for watching, guys.